Hey guys, how's it going? We're over on Lee Chess today because of Chess.com's capacity problems. I just wasn't able to get a game. So I played some Blitz and lost like a bunch of games. And now we're playing Rapid and I'm losing a bunch of games. I think my ELO needs to fluctuate around a bit until I find some good opponents for my skill level. Um, This is... What is this? See, another thing that's really getting me is they don't tell you the name of the opening. I have to remember it. Is this um, the center game? Is this the center game? So I think I need to take, yeah, and then come out and hit the queen. So I tend to memorize things based on names and labels, I guess, which is probably not good. But I'm just used to it. That's just the way it is. So here... Not sure what that's all about, unless he's planning to do this. But that doesn't win a pawn either, because I've got two pawns defending. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know. I kind of want to push this pawn and then set up a discovered attack, right? I feel like that kind of makes sense. I also wouldn't mind just attacking this pawn. Let's do that. And then maybe let's see I could go here I could go here uh, what do I do here guys I pin the pin the pawn and then attack it is that a, but that blocks in my bishop I don't know if I want to do that um, yeah, I don't know, guys. This is just very difficult for me. So let's see. What's an idea here? Now, I can play d5 and take with my knight. But that's a check that might win my knight. Ooh. Oh, no, no, no. It would be defended by my queen. Okay. I like to threaten that pawn, but I can't right now. Oh boy. I'm just gonna. You know what? Maybe we fee and keto this way. So maybe I don't care about blocking the bishop because the plan is to push the pawn. Move the bishop and castle. But first, I think I'm going to set up a discovered attack on the queen. That just seems like a reasonable thing to do. It also unpins my knight in case something crazy happens. Oh. Okay. Oh, interesting. So I can jump here. That pawn is pinned, so I'm going to... Huh, hold on a second. I definitely want to go over here. I'm defended. Everything seems legit. And we're going to attack a pawn. Maybe even open up our A-file. Because what can he do? If I go here, he can't take, obviously. I go here, he has to move his queen. Otherwise, I win the pawn with a discovered attack. Or maybe I... Yeah, I, I want to open up the A-file. Sounds good. I have to say, it is kind of nice how they put the question mark on your ELO. I don't think chess.com does that. From what I recall when I first started, I, it gives you an initial rating, but it just looks like a normal rating. It, it doesn't have a question mark. From what I recall, I might be wrong about that, actually. So what are we planning here? Well, push the pawn. Yeah, put pressure on the pin piece. Now, if he does, if he defends, I take. That's a discovered attack. No problem. And then I'm going to win another pawn, I guess. I don't know why. 
Why did he do this? That that was a very strange move. It's not like I'm castled over here. It's making him think, though. It is making him think. Oh, you know what? I wonder if he was thinking, put pressure on the pinned piece. But, of course, this piece blocks the pin. And anyway, there was no pin anymore. I don't know. Eh, can't explain it. Cannot explain it. This could get a little tricky for my opponent. That might be what he's realizing, because like if he backs up onto any of those squares, there's another discovered attack coming. Can't go can't go here. I don't know. I think he should move his queen right now <laughs> to unpin. Oh, but does is he worried about this pawn somehow? I mean, it's it's still guarded, so I don't know what he's worried about, guys. I'm going to pause my recording just because this is taking so long. Seems a little... Strange. And we're back. He did return. I got a message that said he left the game and I could claim victory soon. But I didn't do it. Um, that's a nice counterattack. Where do I go? Interesting. No... Potentially, yes, but I get attacked, and then where do I go? All the way back here. Oh, man, ugly. But I can't go here. I can't go here. Um, I got here and here. Now, if he attacks me, I can go right back up. So let's do that. Let's attack this weak pawn, and then we go right back up. But there's no fee in Kedowin. Okay, he defends. I'm going to attack the pinned pawn. And he also removed the, the only other defender of the pawn. Yeah, that doesn't work. Like we said, we have a discovered attack on the queen. He might not see that. If he has some tunnel vision on this plan to defend the pawn. Okay, so now... I take, oh, 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 no, 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 hmm, he gets that, and that also adds another, def oh gosh, guys, I don't know, I guess, yeah, just, you know what, it doesn't really matter, I'm just getting outplayed today, I didn't think of this at all, That that's a really nice move. Um, what do I do here? Maybe I don't try to worry about this pawn. Let's focus more on this situation. Like, if I push this guy... Actually, wait. If I go here, we do have a tempo on the queen. We also have this idea. So, if he takes with the knight, I get my rook up here. Defended by my bishop. Hitting the knight. But the knight's defended. It doesn't do anything. I don't know, guys. Oh, boy. I should probably take. 
I mean, what else am I going to do with that pawn, right? Okay, so now... I can't take that pawn. I can't take that pawn. I can attack the knight, offer a trade. I can attack the queen. Ooh, where does the queen go if I attack? Let's see, here or here? Does that accomplish anything though? I need to get castled. So let's see, if I just ignore all this, I go here, he pushes, take. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I need to focus on king safety for the moment. If he attacks me, I take. If he takes, I take, and then this guy is safe. He can't really be attacked too easily. Okay. Get out of there. And now we're ready to roll, guys. Let's see. We've got we've got this move. Oh, that's a little scary. That really is. If I push take take Take, take. He's got this lined up. That's not a big deal. I've got two pawns defending. So I think... Now I could also kick out this knight first. Hold on a second. Kick out the knight. He can't take. It's guarded. Kick out the knight. No. 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 He has to go back that way. That blocks the bishop, and then I can win a pawn. Okay, let's go for it. That also gets my knight out of danger a little bit. Now, if he drops back this way, he still defends the pawn, but that seems like a really... Oh, yeah, that walks into a fork, so he can't really do that either. Yeah, this is, oh, counterattack. All right, but look, if I take, he takes, I take hitting the queen. So he has to capture the pawn, then I'm going to grab that guy, right? Hold on. Take, 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 take. Oh, my gosh. I'm wrong. It's even. Totally even. So if I take the pawn, he takes the knight, I take the pawn, he takes the pawn, I'm attacking that knight, but what can I... The knight is pinned. If I take... Wait. If I take... If he goes here, he gets this check, which could... Wait, no he doesn't. I've got a knight there still. I'm, I would jump with this knight. Oh, but wait. That just loses a piece. I'm going to get rid of the knight. I don't know what to do here, guys. This is... This is... This is tricky. Oh, I see. I see what he's doing. He's going to attack my knight. Maybe. 
Oh, but wait, we're breaking up the battery right now. <gasps> Did I just blunder? No, I didn't. He just blundered. No, it's just two pawns. Ah. It's hard to tell. All right, so one thing I don't like about Leeches is this. You can't get it to show the material. All you can get it to show is the difference in material. Like, I know I captured one of his knights, right? He only has one knight left, but it shows down here as one bishop and two pawns. Um, very annoying, and I cannot figure out how to do it, so leave a comment if you have a tip for me. Let's see here. I want to give a check. Let's start with that. Now we'll create a battery. No, we're going to do that first. Get rid of the, that nasty bishop. And now he can't castle because he would lose a piece. He needs to stop me from adding pressure to the piece. So that's something he can work on. I think that's his best move. But, you know, he might miss it. I wonder if he can also just bring another defender. Oh, yeah, maybe. Jeez, this guy's good. Okay, well, that means I need to also... Oh, gosh, that's a fork. Oh, how do I make that happen, guys? Attack the queen. He can go right here. He does have to stay on this file. And that means all I have to do is push this pawn. Hit the rook. Um, like that. So now, he can't take with the knight, obviously. He takes with the queen. Boom. Boom. That's actually checkmate, so he can't... Oh, that's very accommodating of you, sir. Let's set up a discovered attack. Or wait, do I have checkmate? I don't know. Let's go for it. I think he has to block with the queen. And that's going to be... No, he can go here. Okay, fair enough. Hey, we get a resignation. Oh my gosh. All right, let's try analysis. I tried it on a couple other games, and it was a little weird. So I think... Okay, first you have to turn it on. And then... When I first loaded my last one... It said 100% accuracy for both of us, even though we had blunders and all kinds of stuff. So I'm kind of wondering if you need to wait a minute. Because I find it hard to believe that was 95% accuracy with a mistake and an inaccuracy. I don't know, man. All right, well, whatever. That's kind of cool. So here we go. We have... Looks like I was winning for most of the game. It was very smooth. Let's step through it. Uh, wait. There we go. Hey, and now we can see the name of the opening somewhere in here, right? Uh, or not. Wait, 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 wait. Opening Explorer. Opening Explorer. Okay, I thought it would have the name of the opening. Maybe this one doesn't have a name. No, that's... Okay, Center Game. There it is. So you just have to kind of step through it and you'll see. Center game accepted. Center game normal variation. It's really changing its mind a lot. 
Now, I'm kind of curious what the best move was here. Bishop c5. Interesting. Another cool thing about Leeches, the positive thing, is that they run cloud analysis. And since it's since these opening positions are shared by so many players, you have really deep analysis. Depth 38. And even though it's using a slightly older version of Stockfish, depth 38 is so much better than depth 22 that I'm sure this is a more accurate analysis than what you get on chess.com. So... We're making moves here. Sorry, I'm going a little slow because I'm trying to keep track. I feel like it jumps around a bit more than what I'm used to. So I'm having trouble keeping track of what's happening exactly. And if a move is good or bad, like what's this? Minus 0.6, minus, is this the eval at each point? It's not what that move got me, right? Let's see. So right here, yeah, the eval is minus one. So it says minus one here. All right. I was thinking there's no way each of these moves gained that much. Like that doesn't make any sense. Let's see. So I can see this was not the best move because it went from minus 1 to minus 0.9. Let's see. Yeah, I wish it had the little icons. And the reason isn't because it gives you new information. It's just because it's faster to look at. Like, I'm looking at the board, not over here. And when I play this move, if there's a little icon that pops up that says good, excellent, best etc i don't even need to look over here to check the eval difference you know what i mean that's a nice feature on chess.com all right so they do show you mistakes with the little icon and okay so there's a blue one which means inaccuracy and this question mark is a mistake all right fair enough so i should do one of those moves all right, and I didn't. There's another inaccuracy. And here I made a mistake. That's a shame. I thought that was so clever. What I thought would happen is this. He goes here, I win a pawn. Something like that. That's kind of what I figured would happen. But he counterattacked. And here I should have taken. Interesting. So I should go like that. He goes like that. Oh, I take with check. Oh my God, that is so brutal. I completely missed that. I completely missed that. I, when I was calculating, oh my gosh, I thought, all right. I thought I, can, I calculated this, which is still winning, but it's not good. But I can take the pawn with check, and he can't block. He, if he blocks with his queen, I win with the pawn anyway. Oh my gosh, that's so hard to see. But guys, if you saw that, give yourself puzzle points. Seriously, that is impressive if you found that. That is hard to see, at least for me. So uh, let's keep going. Here, we're just doing quite well. Was this a good move? Oh my gosh. No, this doesn't make any sense. Minus 6.1. Oh, no, it just updated. So it said minus 6.1. And then when I played the next move, it said minus, minus 9.6. And then it updated the previous one. So now will this update? It goes from minus 6 to minus 9.3. Oh, interesting. So, yeah, it's a little hard to understand the Lee Chess interface right now for me. I'm not sure. Oh, it just dropped down to minus 6 again. I don't know what's going on here, but up here it says minus 9.5. And now it's a, well, whatever. You know, that's definitely one advantage of a product that you pay for. They typically do a better job with user interface. But who knows? I might also just have it set up wrong, you know? There's a lot of options that you can configure on Lee Chess, And I kind of went through it this morning and set it up as well as I could. But oh yeah, so just to remind you, if you guys know how to make it show you all of the material that you've captured, leave. let me know in a comment. I cannot figure it out. The only toggle I can find 
is to show the material difference. And if you turn it off, it just doesn't show anything, which is bizarre. So we found some good moves here. This bishop move must be very good because it started off as minus six and then at higher depth, it became minus nine. So that's usually something that chess.com considers a great move, hard to find. Set up our battery. This might've been too slow. No, it just jumped up again from minus six to minus 10. And here, I'm really proud of this move. You can see the initial calculation was minus seven, but when we push this, or wait, <laughs> okay, I have wrong move. I thought it was the pawn push. I think I could have done the pawn push right away. Let's see, let it think for a second. Yep, it's going up, minus nine. That's only depth 17, 18. Interesting. 19. It seems like the whatever browser version of Stockfish they have might be a little bit slower than the chess.com one. On my computer, at least. Um, okay, so maybe the rook move was better. Let's let it think again. I'm really curious. Just letting it think. You know, I should really pause my recording if I do that. That would be more considerate to my viewers. This looks much stronger. It's just going up, up, up. Oh, well, whatever. You know, it doesn't matter that much. What was the idea here? Bring the rook or the queen up. Why? Um, oh, well. This essentially, yeah, this was basically the end of the game. Pick up the rook. Now, I can see I had maiden two. So, guys, did you find the maiden two? If you did, again, give yourself puzzle points because, I mean, what the heck? That is crazy. That's mate. Oh, yeah, can't go here. Can't go here. Can't take. Can't block. Well, you know, my philosophy, honestly is that it doesn't matter to me how you win, to be totally honest. Like, when there's mate in two and you find winning the queen, winning a rook, and it's like you're going to get mate in 20, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that game, and I will see you next time. Bye.